My name is Leonard Friedman. I'm a professor and director of the Master of Health Administration program here in the Milken Institute School of Public Health at George Washington University. So I have the pleasure of being responsible for our residential MHA degree. This is a program that has been around since 1959. Uh, in the 55, 56 years since the program began, we have over 3,500 alums. Of that 3,500 alums, some 2,400 have been chief executive officers of a variety of different healthcare organizations. So we approach our quality improvement curriculum using a multi-stakeholder systems-based approach. And I think the other key thing is that we're constantly improving the curriculum to meet students' and employers' needs. We integrate quality throughout the program. Uh, we begin in our first year, where we have our core quality course, but we also integrate quality throughout the other core courses, for example, finance and health IT. Then, building on the student's internship experience in the second year, we have elective quality courses, but we also then continue to use quality improvement examples and apply student skills in their second in their second year courses, both core and electives. And then finally they go out and apply it in their third year in the fellowship. We're really honored to be awarded the inaugural Cami Beta Scott and White Health Award for Excellence in Quality Improvement. It really reflects a collective effort from our leadership and our faculty, our staff, alumni, but most importantly, our students. I think the award will really have a great impact on our program in sustaining our efforts to continue to innovate and improve our curriculum. So this award serves as a catalyst for us to continue improving our program and also scanning the environment so that we can provide our students with the best knowledge and tools when they go out and become managers and future leaders. The other thing I think this award will do is hopefully it will allow us to begin to partner with other programs so that we can collectively learn about what education tools in quality improvement work best and, and together collectively create managers and leaders that serve their patients and the organizations they work for.